Hey guys, it's Erica from Erica Marie Plans. Welcome back to my channel for my first plan with me in over a year. It's crazy. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to talk about in this voiceover. I feel so weird talking into my mic right now. Um, yeah, it's been so long. I mean, if you have been here for a while, I used to do these like all the time. Like there is a couple years worth of plan with me's, but I have not been consistent since 2021, um, back when we were in Arizona. Once we moved, I just couldn't be consistent anymore because I was moving around a lot, starting my shop, working a bunch. Like it's been crazy. So this year I am committed to do plan with me's for every single week. I'm not saying they will be uploaded in a timely manner because this one is definitely not uploaded in a timely manner. Um, this is for the week of January 1st through the 7th. Um, I honestly just finished filming this a little bit ago, a couple days ago. Um, I've been extremely sick this whole month ever since coming back from New York. Um, so I've been sick for most of the year so far, which kind of sucks. But if you know me, like in real life, I'm not always sick, but when I'm sick, I'm like dying. <laughs> like it's really bad. And I've always been like that since I was a kid. I just have a really weak immune system. So when I'm sick, I'm like done for, for at least two weeks. Um, so my voice may sound a little congested, um, getting over the flu right now, but I really wanted to get this done. Um, yeah, so I cannot remember the name of this kit, but it will be in the title, obviously. Um, this is a kit from SPC and the foil bundle I'm using is actually from my shop. It is the snowflake foil bundle and it is in silver waterfall. Um, if you've been like watching my videos, I've been uploading, they're mainly like new release videos, um, for like my shop, but I don't think I've actually like announced it like in a plan with me, if that's mainly what you watch from my channel. Um, but I do have my own shop. It's called plan with me stickers. Um, it is linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, as of recording this voiceover, it's the 16th of February. So there are no new releases this week, but next week there will be a big release. Um, and there's a lot of new foils and new characters that will be coming to the shop very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, also, I was struggling with this tall box. I don't even know what happened. I messed up and it was a struggle to take it off. Um, but yeah, oh, the inserts I'm using are Caress Press. I did use Print Pressions. I do like Print Pressions um, inserts, but I love supporting Maggie and I love her inserts um back in 2021 i think i mentioned this in my last plan with me back in 2021 um i realized my inserts were like missing a whole week or something like that i don't even know like how that happened but um i noticed it like towards the end of the year because that's when it took place so i don't think i finished that i did not really plan much in my planner for 2022 2023 i have everything written down in like my b6 um my like weekly planner that I just write everything that happens. So I need to backdate or back plan all of those. So that will be fun. And I'm doing that very slowly. I cannot do it all at once. Two years worth of spreads is kind of crazy. So um, that's been really exciting to do kind of like off camera, but on camera, I'm going to be doing just my spreads for 2024. Maybe every once in a while, you'll see a spread from 2023, 2022. Um, if I feel like it, but those are kind of like my fun on my own time, not filming, doing those plans. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. This is the week we, I went to New York. This is the first week of the year. Um, I booked a super last minute trip to New York. Um, it's kind of funny like how everything planned out. My cousin and his friends were going on this trip and I was talking about it and I was like, well, why didn't you invite me? And I never go on like trips. I say I'm going, but I just don't. But this year, my goal is to travel a lot more. So I told them the only way I'm going to go on this trip is if I win this game. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called Left Right Center. We play it during Christmas and this year the jackpot I think was $225. 
And I told them, if I win this game, I will go. And I won. I was <laughs> so surprised I won. And so I was like, okay, well, there's no way tickets are this cheap. Like, are going to be $200 and we're leaving in like a week. So I looked on Hopper. Tickets were $200 for round trip to New York from California. So I'm like, okay, this is a sign. Let's just book these damn tickets and let's go. <laughs> so it was super last minute, but it was so fun it was snowing and yeah i did book another trip to new york in april so i'm really excited about that but yeah so that's what this week is um let's just go ahead and get into the day by day all these scripts i did make myself this is font seven in my shop and they are in navy um i'm gonna try and mention where all these stickers are from but i'm a little rusty with knowing what shops are from i think i I, I don't know. Maybe I'll surprise myself. Um, first thing I'm marking on New Year's Day is that I slept in. Um, the girl is from Beniva, Beniva's Creations. I also did, or I didn't do, Dean did a Target pickup for me. Um, the Target sticker is from SPC. And then I did some laundry. We do so much laundry in this house. We have five dogs, so they are quite messy, especially one of our dogs. She has a back problem and is paralyzed from the hips down, like half her body. So she has no control of her bowel movements and when she has to pee. So it's a mess in my house all the time. And so we're constantly doing laundry of all the dog stuff. So I don't know how it's going to be when we have kids. We can barely keep up with these damn dogs. Um, so... I mark doing laundry, which is what I do almost every day. Um, I also finally was able to have my morning coffee halfway through the day. Um, that sticker is from Paper Shire. Um, I was feeling a little anxious this day. I took a gummy. I don't know if I'm going to keep marking that in my planner. I feel kind of weird talking about it, but I do take gummies for when I'm feeling anxious, and I've been feeling that quite a lot lately. Um, so I marked that with an SPC girl and then we had Chinese leftovers because I ordered Chinese for New Year's Eve. That was like our dinner and that is a paper shire girl. Moving on into Tuesday the 2nd, I started off my day with washing my hair. Also during this time, I had this whole week off. I took 20 days off of work. Um, that was a whole situation in itself. Um, trying to get those days off, but anyway, I was off for a long time, so that was really nice, um, and so I was just kind of chilling at home, designing, doing as many orders as I could because I had the time off. Um, I do work a full-time job as a director at an after-school program, so when I'm not working, I am working on my shop. I hardly ever hang out with Dean because I have to keep up with my orders, and I struggle quite a bit because I'm at work all day, um, and when I get home, I'm drained, but... Um, yeah, so I was trying to get as much done during this time as I could. Um, so yeah, started off the day with washing my hair. That girl is from Fox and Cactus. I have not purchased from them in a long time. And so I need to make an order soon. Um, did some more laundry with a um, sticker from, oh, what's that shop called? Paper and Milk, I believe. And um, the girl is also from Beneva Creations. And then I cleaned the house a bit using a Paper Shire cleaning doodle. Took another gummy and um, I worked on a bunch of orders using a paper shire girl to mark that. And my sister Emily helped me this day as well. Um, she helps me with a lot of like recoloring, doing the grab bags, packing orders. Like she definitely helps me out a lot. Um, or I shouldn't say a lot. <laughs> she also works with me too. So she has a job. She's in school full time. But whenever she can, she does help and she helps out wherever she can as, as much as she can so I am very grateful that she can help me out um and then moving on to Wednesday I filmed I filmed a haul that video is actually going up before this one I'm still waiting for it to export it's taking forever but um I used a camera sticker from my shop and then Dean had a hockey game this day um the hockey sticks are from Carly's Carly Plans and then I also worked on some customs with one of the new artists um, that I've been working with. I used a sticker from Paper and Milk, and then I worked on orders with another Paper Shire sticker. Moving on into Thursday, um, I started my morning with an early nail appointment. I had to change my appointment because it was originally going to be on Friday, but I was like, not going to work. I'm going to be in New York. So 
I texted them and let them know like, hey, I need to move up my appointment. And I was very thankful that they were able to squeeze me in. Um, so I used a nail appointment sticker and then the doodle is from Carly Plans. Also washed my hair again this day because I just wanted to have fresh hair. Um, and that is from Paper and Milk. No, not Paper and Milk. Um, Coffee Monsters Co. And then I went to Pete's and gra grabbed a coffee. Um, that sticker is from, where is it from? SPC. I'm getting a little ahead because I know towards the end I have a lot to talk about because that's when we're actually in New York already. Um, and then I was also stressed because I had not packed yet and I was leaving at 3 a.m. on Friday and this is Thursday night. So hadn't packed. I wanted to get these orders done because I had to already print the shipping labels and I needed to get them out because I was going to be gone all weekend. So I was pretty stressed about that. And then we also ordered Don Quixote's, which is our favorite Mexican restaurant here. It's pretty authentic. I am Mexican, so I'm very picky with my Mexican food. There's another place called Dos Coyotes. Uh, oh my God, I'm stumbling. Dos Coyotes that Dean loves, but I'm like, this is like white people Mexican food. This is not good. And he loves it. And I just am like, I cannot, I cannot eat this food. <laughs> so um, went to Don Quixote's because that is legit Mexican food. And then I was just pissed at Dean. He was really bothering me. Um, got in a little fight before I left. He didn't even want me to go to New York in the first place. But I was like, you know what? This is an experience. This is what I want to do. So I was going. I didn't care. <laughs> um, and then Friday at 3 a.m. I'm pretty sure my flight was at 3 a.m. Um, or maybe it was four. Um, I left or Dean drove me to the airport. And so I left from Sacramento and had a layover in St. Paul. And then from St. Paul, I went to LaGuardia airport. Um, and then I used a plane from my shop and then a passport sticker from my shop as well to mark the layover. I went to Joe and the Juice. Um, they had that at the airport. So I was like, I haven't had this in a little bit. So went to there to just get a green juice. I felt kind of yucky. And on the flight, the first flight over, for, so from SAC to St. Paul, I like got really nauseous. I usually don't get nauseous on planes, but I have not been on a plane in a long time. The last time I was on a plane was to New York. That's the only time I've traveled on a plane is to New York, which is so weird. Um, it, yeah, so I'm usually fine. And then maybe TMI, but I started my period on the plane and I was like, <laughs> what the heck? I was so mad because it just literally came out of nowhere. <laughs> and I was, it was mid flight and I was like, okay, well, there's literally nothing I can do. Like I have nothing for this to take care of myself. <laughs> so um, I was pretty stressed. And then I had the worst cramps because it has been a few months since I've had my period and I get really, really bad cramps. So I was struggling at the airport when I was waiting for my cousins. And then I marked that I met up with my cousins um, and his friends at the airport. And of course, they all arrived at one terminal and I was in a different terminal. And luckily, this guy was able to help me and drive me to the next terminal um, in his huge bus and I was kind of like sketched out but I'm like oh well, he's offering <laughs> and then we went to CVS so I can go get some tampons because I didn't bring any and um that sticker is from Papershire we went to Joe's Pizza which they wanted to go to I guess it's the pizza place that's in Spider-Man it was crappy pizza not good pizza do not recommend whatsoever the pizza pizza sticker is from my shop and then I had an early night because I just didn't feel well I didn't sleep the night before I pulled an all-nighter and only slept a couple hours on the plane and I was cramping, so I stayed in, and they went out um, that night, the first night. And I was just like, no, I'm going to FaceTime Dean and go to bed. <laughs> I did not feel well. Um, okay, this was like our first official full day. Um, I got a good night's sleep, but I was still pretty tired, so we door dashed um, Gregory's coffee. My cousin's name is Gregory, so he's like, okay, yeah, we need to get Gregory's coffee. I guess it's like, um, it's not a chain, I don't think, but they have a lot of Gregory's coffee in New York, and I've never heard of it. So, um, when we we're walking around a bunch, we saw it a whole lot. And then we got ready for the day. We went to a place called Essa Bagel. Um, bagels were pretty good. It was freezing this day. I have never felt cold like that before. <laughs> I'm from Sacramento, so it doesn't really get that cold. I mean, it does. It gets to be 40, sometimes 30 degrees, but this is a different 40 30 degrees in new york um and then we walked around central park and my hands were frozen my bagel froze because it was so damn cold and 
Norma, one of the friends that we went with, I love her. She, uh, she's amazing. But <laughs> we're complete opposites. She wanted to go and like take pictures and like do all that stuff in Central Park. And I did not dress to take pictures. I dress for warmth. I don't care if I look cute or not. And that's what she likes to do, take pictures and all that. I am not that type of person. <laughs> so that's what we did, even though it's really cold. And then I also marked that it was cold with a paper shower sticker. I'm kind of all over the place because there was a lot that happened this day. Um, we also went to Target because they wanted to pick up alcohol. Um, they like tequila. I hate tequila. And everyone is like, why do you hate tequila? You're Mexican. I don't know why. It tastes like a tree when I drink it. So I do not drink tequila. I love vodka. That is my go-to. I can... I love vodka. So um, we didn't get any vodka though. I was like, I really don't feel like drinking. Um, if anything, I'm going to drink when we go out to dinner or like go to a bar or a club or something, but I didn't want to just get alcohol to have at the hotel. Um, so yeah, we went to Target for that. And then we went to Sephora. And while I was at Sephora, I got my birthday, my free birthday gift because why not? I was there. And then um, his friends like went back to the hotel and me and my cousin just went out and we went to a Starbucks reserve and got um, some espresso, mar espresso martinis. I do not like espresso martinis, but I just felt like I had to get one. So I just had a couple sips, took a picture of it and gave it to him. So he had two and got a little tipsy. Um, we also got lost. Our, um, map kept taking us to the wrong hotel. Like our hotel, there was many of the hotels, um, the hotel we stayed at, there were many hotels with that same name, but it was just like one like word difference, if that makes sense. So we kept getting lost and we kept getting mad at each other. Me and him fight a lot, but it's all in good fun. We're both very, um, we're the oldest in our families and we just like to pick on each other, especially him. He knows my like what buttons to push with me and I get so irritated with him sometimes but we're like best friends we're super close in age and he's a twin too so those whenever I talk about my cousins it's usually those two guys <laughs> but the other twin didn't go so it was me and Gregory and we're the ones that bicker a lot and we kept getting lost because I was getting us lost and then he was like let me do it let me find the hotel and then he got us lost and it was snowing and we had a reservation in like 30 minutes and we were just soaking wet from snow and it was, it was a disaster and then towards the end we're just like fine get a uber and let's just go to the hotel but while we got lost i we came across the rockefeller tree and that was my first time seeing it because i've never gone to new york in this time so i wanted to mark that and then we finally found our hotel and we had like two minutes to get ready and like I said I don't really get ready so I really didn't do too much but I can get ready pretty quick so I curled my hair super quick just put on mascara was blow drying my pants because they were wet and then we went to um Cocina it's actually called Cochina but I think that's kind of weird it's called Cochina um I'm just gonna call it Cocina it's a really nice dinner it's like a $400 dinner but it was really good I got a risotto a lobster risotto I think and then we had a couple drinks there. I got pretty tipsy. And then we went to a place called Crown Bar and had many, many drinks there. I can't remember if we went there first. I went to King Cole Bar because he wanted to go to King Cole Bar. That's the bar that's in the Devil Devil Devil's Wear Prada. Oh my God, the Devil Wears Prada. Um, so he was like, we have to go there. So I can't, I don't really remember too much of that night. So I can't remember if we went there first or the crown bar, but I know the crown bar is where we drank a lot. Um, and then I just marked that we got pretty drunk and when me and Norma get drunk, it's a fun time. <laughs> so that was a very fun night. Um, and then there was just some drama happening that night as well. And we ended our night at Siren Bar because Crown Bar closed pretty early, I thought, for New York. It was like midnight. And I'm like, okay, come on. It's like nine o'clock for me. Um, so the bartender told us of another bar that was open pretty late. So we went there. It was kind of trashy, but it was whatever. And then the next day, I was really hungover. I have not been hungover in a while. Um, and we also had a um, like experience book called the Sum summit. It's the Vanderbilt summit building. I didn't know what it was. Um, but I was like, sure, I'll go. This was before we had like, um, left. So I was like, yeah, I'll go. Um, turns out you, it's this super tall building. You go on an elevator up. Like, I want to say it was 90 floors. Maybe it's not 90 floors, but it was super high. And I was hung over. I'm terrified of heights. And I was like, this is not what I signed up for. So I was struggling until I got my coffee there. 
And then after I got my coffee, I felt so much better, a whole new human. And we did some shopping and I did a lot of damage. Um, went to Aloe, went to Aritzia, Ralph Lauren, Abercrombie. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Um, and then we had one last dinner at Quality Bistro and that was pretty good too. Um, I got a steak. I went all out. I think I got like a surf and turf steak um surf and surf and turf so lobster and steak and it was pretty good um we went to times square to get a couple souvenirs and then after that we honestly called it an early night they had their flight earlier than i did my flight home was at like 12 o'clock i think and theirs was at like 3 a.m so they got home before i had even left the hotel to go to my flight um so we called it an early night went to the the hotel watch the golden globes and then i just marked that we had a night in so yeah that is my crazy week we got a whole lot done in those three days um yeah here i am just kind of finishing everything up oh i did not know i left that in there <laughs> but oh well um i hope you guys like this plan with me um if you guys have any questions about anything especially towards the end i didn't really mention where anything was from because there was a lot of information let me know thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys.